We did loads of research. I think like first and foremost, any character, or at least for myself, I think you, you kind of understand it via yourself and then it's about filling your, your brain and, and everything else with the, with the context around it to kind of work out how you how you would act in that or they would act in, in that world. So we, we came to the Imperial War Museum. Um, we There's so much amazing literature. Um, we went to the war sites and graves and monuments and museums in France and we went to Ypres in Belgium. We did military training every day. So, because we were rehearsing the film for about six months before we started and the beginning of each day was with our military advisors, um, Paul Biddis and the armory team, Jason Joss, and just getting our hands around all the gear. So it was a kind of constant, gradual, you know, gradual just bit by bit, just piecing it together constantly. The war poets was a, was a way into it because the, the situation was so surreal, I think. Um, there's, there's just, there's so much that you can, that you can learn. Um, and not just saying, but the Imperial War Museum was, is, is the best place to start. Yeah, that's the first place I went, literally the week I found out I got the part, I went straight there. And I'd never been there before, so I was always excited to go. And then that first World War section as well was really, I went there the other day, again, like when we was there yesterday. So um, I love the Imperial War Museum. Yeah, right? nice. it's brilliant. It's so good. You know, and I read a book called The Western Front Diaries, which is uh, snippets of diary entries of the soldiers. And I actually found that my great, great grandfather I had a diary entry in that book, so I'll read that. Dennis Gassner, the production designer who created the sets of the film, and you know Sam, the director, had a very clear vision on what, what the story we were telling, and you know it was very immersive on set, let alone watching it, and uh, none, everything felt real. You know, none of it felt like a movie set or plastic. You know, there were real trenches actually dug into the floor. You know, and then when you put extras in costume and fill a trench up with hundreds of men and you look down that trench and it's raining and the atmosphere is how it would have been, the conditions are terrible, it touches you and it gives you a bit of a reality check and you know, you realise how good you've got it today. Um, yeah, but you know, you'd, you'd sort of step, you know, once you put the gear on and you'd step on the trench, you instantly just were in that mindset. It was easy to switch it on, wasn't it? I'm going back to see my father. We need to keep moving! Come on! I'm going back. Trying to understand the experience personally via kind of personal accounts, listening and reading personal accounts, and then playing these soldiers ourselves, yeah. it, it puts into perspective the scale of the loss of life. Because once you sort of start to understand it on a more personal level, you then when you consider it was millions, that's, that has kind of, has never hit home quite in the same way. I think I've been shocked by the numbers, but, but it's been a number. It's not been, it's not, I've not, I've not attached the, I've not had an understanding or insight into the, the personal loss. Um, so that was a real kind of awakening. They're walking into a trap. Your orders are to deliver a message, calling off tomorrow morning's attack. I, I, I mean, firstly, I think it's important to sort of learn from, you know, human history and, you know, correct ourselves as we go along in history and learn from the mistakes and the good things and the bad things. But, you know, those, those men that fought in that war literally sacrificed everything they had. Um, and, you know, the more you look into the First World War, it just makes you want to cry just talking about it. Um, you know, and, and I think that's one thing that I hope people take away from watching the film is that I hope it sort of inspires them to look at their own ancestors' history.